Hey, what's up? This is Mitch Klein, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create unique risers for every single track using one simple trick in FL Studio 20. So for this video, I'm using a track that I made and I will show you the, the part where I need a riser. So for this part I would like to have a riser to build the tension a little bit more and I'm going to show you how we can create it. So I'll create a new pattern, call it riser and then you can use basically any kind of sample sound. So let's pick for example the 707 clap and then we're going to turn on the crossfade so it loops itself and then when we get to the piano roll if you draw one note it will repeat itself immediately and what we now can do is uh, we should make it as long as we want it eight bars for the build-up. Uh, now you set the beginning tone of the sample. For example, like here. And then we turn on this knob, the slide. And this makes sure it slides from this note to whatever note you're playing next. So if we do like C8, then it will slide from C4 till C8 in this specific period of time. And it sounds like this. So just, just basically one simple trick to create a riser. Um, to make it a little more interesting we can add an effect to it because now it sounds very dry but let's say if we add a reverb to it turn the mix all the way up You can create a kind of sort of a rising pad um, using this technique. And as I said, you can use it on any sample that you want. So let's try out a few ones. If it's not wor if it's not working uh, really well, uh, you might have to change the length of the sample. So this one sounds very smooth. Uh, let's say we want to use this one, and I'll put in the riser right here, and. Uh, you notice that when the note hits, uh, the volume is very high. And that's not what we want. So if you go back to the piano roll, at the control right here, you can choose channel volume. And then you can draw the velocity of the riser. 
So when the sample hits uh, hard at the beginning, you can just mute that and then turn it up to create the rising effect. So now let's listen to it. So this was very subtle and of course you can change the volume to uh, give it a little more impact uh, or you can create maybe a tremolo effect on it. You can do that with the Panomatic for example. And of course you can automate this as well. So let's say we want to automate the speed of the riser. Then we'll see what it does. So with this particular sample, it's not really loud. So let's just try another one. Maybe a cracker, for example. So this is basically how you can create unique risers every time for your tracks uh, using this simple method. Hope you guys learned something from it and hope you can use it in your own tracks. And don't forget to subscribe because more videos are coming very soon. Bye bye.